Google Chrome is killing good ad blockers. It's already hit some people and it's coming for you next. Let's talk about why this is happening and what to do. There's a lot that goes into web browsers and there's a lot that goes into the extensions. And there's a technology called Manifest V2, which has been the standard for extensions on pretty much every web browser. Chrome has been pushing something called Manifest V3. It's an upgrade to version two and they tout it as being more private and secure, which in some ways, it is. The problem is it takes away all the ability that some extensions need to do things in your browser. uBlock Origin is considered one of the best, if not the best ad blocker, but also tracker blocker and just security tool in general. It is probably one of the best things you can do to any browser to make it more private and secure. The problem is uBlock Origin requires a lot more permissions and a lot more access to web pages that Manifest V3 doesn't really allow. For context, if you're using an ad blocker and you think it works fine, keep in mind that many ad blockers whitelist ads uh, for ad companies that pay them money, and many of them aren't open source nor use open source block lists that aren't as robust and have a lot of shortcomings in terms of how they benefit privacy and security. If you're somebody watching and you have an ad blocker, you're almost always better off using uBlock Origin. It's kind of the gold standard. Now there's tons of ad blockers out there that are compatible with Manifest V3, including uBlock Origin Lite, which is actually from the same developer as uBlock Origin, designed for V3. But the reality is, despite these existing, they are never going to be quite as good as uBlock Origin with V2. So it's kind of a tough situation because in order to improve perhaps the privacy and security of extensions as a whole, uh, Google is essentially cutting out the ability to go above and beyond for people that can actually utilize those extra privileges for good. So it reminds me a lot of Apple, which tries to lock down iOS as much as possible, which sure we can say might keep the platform safer, but for people who know what they're doing and want to be able to whitelist things or do things on their devices that would make them even safer than what Apple provides, that's not an option to them. Let's start on an individual level. What can you do to still get a safe browser? Well, for whatever reason, if you need to use Chrome or you just refuse to use other options, try to convince you, but if you are still stuck on Chrome for whatever reason, uBlock Origin Lite is probably the best thing you can use right now from the same developer, it's still very robust and probably the best ad blocker and privacy and security tool you can install within Chrome. Get Origin Lite, it's not as good as uBlock Origin, but it's still good. The next option is moving over to different browsers and Brave is going to be the first option I bring up. Brave browser is based on Chromium, so it should be pretty similar and familiar to those of you coming from Chrome. Brave actually comes with its own ad blocker and privacy tool, security tool type of dealio that's very similar to uBlock Origin. So that's the next option. Just download Brave, customize it to your liking, and you're done. Just use Brave's built-in ad blocker. Now, if you don't like their built-in stuff and you still wanna stick with uBlock Origin, which is also perfectly okay and valid, Brave actually, despite being Chromium based, still manually baked in the ability to install uBlock Origin directly in the settings. Just go into the settings, go into extensions, manage, and then enable it manually. Baking this into a Chromium based browser is awesome. Just wanna give massive props to their team for doing that. If you know this next option, you've been like holding it in and trust me, I'm about to say it, Firefox based browsers pretty much entirely avoid this issue. Many people really like the fact that Firefox based browsers are not based on Chromium. And this is where that argument really shines where you get to say I was right and you know this is why I don't use chromium based browsers because I'm not pushed Google's anti monopoly many unbearable hours later so you can just get Firefox install uBlock Origin like you've always been able to and you're done if you don't want to use Firefox for whatever reason um, there are a lot of Firefox based browsers that do incorporate uBlock Origin. So Molvad Browser is personally my default browser and that includes uBlock Origin out of the box. I know that LibreWolf comes grouped with uh, uBlock Origin as well. The cool thing about using any Firefox based browser, especially one that's cross compatible, is you can also set up UBO on a mobile device, at least on Android, which is super cool and super underrated to have the power of uBlock Origin on a mobile browser. So those are what you can do on an individual level for yourself. But let's go into some broad takeaways to try to not have this situation happen again. First, be respectfully vocal. Let companies like Google know on socials that you don't agree with this and this kind of ruins your web experience. And also on the flip side, let other organizations like Brave, Firefox, 
and all these other fantastic browsers know that you are using them or move to them because of the fantastic work that they're doing in prioritizing you. Next, share this news with people you know. Almost everybody uses Chrome, so this is actually super applicable news that you can share with anybody. And a lot of people use ad blockers, so big news for them. And hey, if you don't wanna do the job, uh, you can share with them this video. Third, take risks. I know if you're somebody who uses Chrome, it's very, very tempting to just switch out the extension to something else and move on with your day. But this represents a much larger underlying issue. And I would want you to try to take a risk. You don't have to completely migrate to a new browser, but there's nothing stopping you from downloading Firefox or downloading Brave alongside Chrome and trying it out. I think you might surprise yourself because frankly, they tend to be a little bit nicer to use than Chrome for a lot of things. So Try it out and it might become your default browser. You never know. People have been speculating that Chrome is gonna try to reduce if not kill off ad blockers for a long time. And yeah, we're starting to see the first signs of it. So I wanna hear your thoughts and I wanna hear the browsers that you're using down in the description. I also wanna thank all of our patrons that make this content possible and allow us to keep going and pushing forward for your digital rights and educating people around the world. And I just made a video talking about the browsers that I use, both of which dodge this problem. And I mentioned them in this video. So if you wanna learn more about why I picked those browsers, check out this video here. And I'll see you next time on Tech Board.